Hey, yeah, yeah, Saturday today, um, international football today as well, and uh, I was just looking at yesterday's results. Um, Latvia, who I always thought were not half a decent football side, were beaten by the Faroe Islands in Latvia. I mean, the Faroe Islands, I mean, <laughs> I, mean I think they'd be hard pressed. To form a football team, you know, it's not, not not a massive population, you know. They're all busy hunting whales or something, aren't they? I, d I don't know. And, uh, I'm, you know, I mean, it always amazes me when I see about pharaohs, because, I, I, you know, I always thought it's just a lot of really just rocky outcrops. So where they find, you know, a flat flat bit of ground to grow grass on and play football, I don't know. Or is that, <laughs> just, or is that me being a sort of pharaohist? <laughs> If it is, I do apologise. I, I must admit, for years, I, I thought the Faroes, I, I got it mixed up with Fair Isle. I just thought it was just like an outcrop of rock. I didn't realise it was actually a, a community. So, oh, that's my bad, really, isn't it? Anyway, uh, yeah, England are playing Malta at home. And honestly, if we don't beat them, it's got to be, something's got to be going on. And uh, Scotland, I think it's still in Scotland playing. I can't remember now. I think they're playing... They're playing Lithuania. I think I think they're at, I think it's away, I'm not sure. Anyway, either way, you know, sort of good luck. Oh yeah, and um Northern Ireland are playing San Marino, so again, come on boys, you know <laughs> you can't get beaten by them. It's, that should be a game where you can really sort of you know get your goal difference up. Um yeah, I don't know, I'm I'm really feeling very happy today. Ne next weekend I've got a I've got to go to Northampton for the weekend. I've got a really intensive course. Um, still be doing this. Um, I should have done it a month ago. And I just weren't in the right place to do it. I hadn't sorted out like accommodation. I hadn't sorted out in my head what I was doing or anything like that. And I just, I don't know. And I, I'm i glad I didn't because um, that was the week when I, me and my daughter had to go and you know, sort of burying my dad's and my mum's ashes at my dad's grave, and um, yeah, it was all kind of a bit too emotional that week. Um, but yeah, this this yeah this weekend I'm looking forward to. I've, I've sorted out a hotel today, and uh, I've had a, a superb result. Um, a friend of mine is lending me a car, um, which is just going to make life so much easier. Um, I haven't had a car for the oh, last. I've had a car for about three or four years. Um, I it got. It's a long story, but it got. I got stopped, and unbeknownst to me, my insurance had run out because I'd I'd swapped banks, and the new bank hadn't that particular direct debit hadn't swapped over, and I'd had no notification from the insurance company that I wasn't insured. So it's just what I did have a bloody accident. Um, but it flagged up for the old bill. They pulled me over. Um, and old Dixon and Doc Green decided that in his infinite wisdom he was going to teach me a lesson. And they had my car impounded. Now the thing is, if your car gets impounded and because you haven't got insurance, once it's impounded, then you can't get insurance. So effectively, they take your car away. End of. You know, you ain't got the car no more. So if there's anyone out there who's driving around with insurance, get it sorted out, mate, because uh, yeah, else you ain't going to have a car much longer. You know, it might be expensive, but it's a lot more expensive having to buy a new car and still having to get insurance. Um, yeah, so, yeah, another good thing happened today. I, I went, out, went out for a run, and uh, the run I was intending to do, I wasn't able to do because... I was going to run along this bit. The this used to be a disused railway, and they now use it as a sort of what they call it the guided bus in Cambridge. And it's, I use it quite a lot, but it's quite a handy sort of quick route to get out into the countryside. And um, God, it's only been built a few years, and they're already sort of buggering about with it. Sort of like, oh, I don't know. I mean, they build these things on the bloody cheap, and then after two years, they have to sort of like start mucking about with them again. But anyway. Um, so the route I was intending to do, um, I was a bit stymied on, so I thought, oh, this, this really, really hacked me off. And I had a choice between either sort of like running a much, much shorter route 
which I didn't really want to do today, and running a longer route, but which you know involved a lot of sort of uh, road stuff and road where I, I wasn't altogether confident there was pavement and um, I really don't. I'm getting to the point now. I, I don't like running on where there's no pavement because I, motorists are just so bloody abusive. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll run into oncoming traffic. I'll be as, you know, wherever possible. I'll jump out of the way. But honestly, it just drove me mad, you know. And you know, a lot of these roads that where I've been running down, they're, they're rat runs anyway. So why we have to be so sort of like shitty about it and sort of, you know, get, get stroppy because they can't be banging along at 60 miles an hour along roads that really you shouldn't be doing any more than about 30 miles an hour. I don't know. But anyway, but uh, that's that's my B for the day. But yeah, two good things happened by me running that way. Um, I was running along and suddenly this car pulled up. And I looked and uh, there's a friend of mine, Cathy. I haven't seen her for ages. And uh, I've known Cathy a long time. She's a really good girl, lovely girl. And um, if you're watching this, Kath, you're looking better than ever, girl. You really are. I don't know how you do it, but you look, you look absolutely beautiful today. So, you know, good on you. And uh, it's nice stopping to talk to her. <laughs> and we sort of stopped the traffic for about sort of 10, 15 minutes while we were having a natter. Well, that, uh, that sort of light, uh, do a, a diversion around our car. But, um, no, it's, it's nice to see you, and I'm glad you stopped. You know, it's good, good to have a chat. And hopefully we'll catch up before Christmas. Um, and then after after that, I was running along, and uh, I'm, I always find it an absolute. I love it when I I find a, a little route that I've never run down before. And uh, just after I've seen Kathy, there's this um, footpath. Now I th you know I had an idea it was there. And I had a bit of an idea where it came out, but I really wasn't sure and I wasn't confident about it. But <laughs> there's a couple of other runners right in front of me and they, they sort of like made a beeline down this route. So I thought, oh, well, you know, if they're doing it, I'll do it. And, and you know, <coughs> if I get lost, at least I can sort of try and catch up with them and we can see where we're going. And um, no, it was great. It was really a nice little route about... I don't know, a mile or so, maybe a little bit more, um, off the road, off the beaten track, um, and I came out, sort of, where it came out was less than a mile from where I live, so, you know, I had a good run, I ran a, a little bit further than I intended, which was good, um, and, um, you know, sort of met, met an old friend and um, found a new route, and this new route I'll be incorporating in, in my runs from now on. Um, so yeah, all good, all good stuff. So um, yeah, on that I think I'll leave it. I say you know, good luck to England, good luck to Scotland, good luck to the boys in Northern Ireland, and um, I don't know when you when the Welsh or the uh, Republic of Ireland are playing. I think they must be playing tomorrow, but uh, I'll find that out and uh, speak to you tomorrow. Cheers, then have a good day.